Left index I got finger. It. Her left index finger had blood on it. That could only be because she used that finger to write the message. I see. She broke her right wrist during the fight, so she'd have to use her left hand to write. Sure. I think we can all agree Sayaka wrote it. But still, what the heck do those numbers mean? One, one, zero, three, seven? Hey, Chihiro. You're a computer nerd or whatever, right? You should know all about numbers and shit. No, that's not... Yes, I'm a programmer, but I don't see any kind of meaning in these numbers. Of course. It's because they're not numbers. Oh! Yeah, it looks like... Huh? What? What? Hey, no, it's just... A look at the numbers, assuming they're not numbers. Don't these first two, one one, look less like two numbers and more like one letter? Yep. Ah, you're right. The connecting line is barely there, so I assumed it was one one, but... So who's got an N in their name? Looking at it now, you could also read it as an N. Whoa, you might have finally just said something worth a shit. It's the first or the last letter, so it's not Mondo. It's not Hifumi. Really oh shit, I should have. N037 doesn't make any more sense than before. Damn it, it's no use, I just don't know what to do. Oh shit, I wasn't meant to give that hint away. Rotate Oops. the image 180 degrees. Okay, there we go. Huh? Rotate it? I, I think maybe, maybe I see something. Oh my god. Now I see. There she we go. Down okay. The killer's name. Huh? Yeah. You just shot past the clue part and right And if you put the end there, turn it around, it says Leon. Oh, whose name did she write? Sayaka's dying message reveals the real killer's name. Is it Makoto? No. Is it her herself? No. Is it Keo Taka? No. Is it Junko? No. Is it Sayaka? No. Is it Kyoko? No. Is it Mondo? No. Is it Aira? No. Is it Yashiro? No. Is it Chihiro? No. Is it Bayaka? No. Is it Celeste? No. It's this fucker! Here's my answer! The key to solving this mystery was simply to rotate the writing 180 degrees. If you turn the message around, it becomes the letters L E O N. L E O N. Or more accurately, Leon. What the hell are you talking about? It's just a coincidence. Uh, just a coincidence that she wrote your name. Yeah, it's sure. It's just a bunch of random squiggles oh. that happen to look like my name. Getting very tense for something that you clearly didn't no, do. It's not random at all. She wrote that message on the wall behind her as she was leaning up against it. In that position, she couldn't move to write normally and had to write upside down, as it were. And as a result, when you look at it standing in front of her, it ends up getting flipped. Try it for yourself if you want. Write something sitting like her, and the letters will be inverted. Yeah. It's a nice trick when they put this one. That, that sounds like one hell of a stretch to me. I'm the killer? You can't just go and say shit like that. If you're not the killer, then why did you try to destroy the evidence? Huh? Bingo! You know what I'm talking about, right, Makoto? Yep. The evidence Leon tried to get rid of? Also, um, if it's in the same bit, I'll quickly show you. Right, so that is locked. That's the incinerator that was somehow turned on with a button. That's what was burnt. And the only other thing is a crystal ball. Now, who can throw a crystal ball out of all of those? Leon. I got it. Also, he's got a white burnt shirt. The burnt shirt piece I found laying on the ground by the incinerator, right? As the killer stabbed Sayaka, they must have gotten some of her blood on them. And to dispose of the shirt covered in the victim's blood, they threw it into the incinerator. But one piece burned off and got left behind. And the killer didn't notice. If they had, they most certainly would have panicked. Isn't that right, Leon? 
<laughs> that face changed there. one scrap of fabric enough to conclude that Leon is guilty? Yeah, I mean, Leon's not the only one wearing a white button-up. That, that's right! There are plenty of other people here with Well, no, that's like not mine. the main clue. The main clue is that it says Leon. It's just that one little charred piece. There's no way you can say for sure who it belongs to. You're right. You have to get out the ball. That alone isn't enough. But there are some other points that may reveal the Yeah, truth. like the fact she fucking wrote Leon. Are you finally starting to understand? The answers to all the riddles are right here. Yeah, I think so. The that remains of the button shirt. Shirt wasn't... Uh, which Akira wasn't able to get rid of. There's something about it we need to pay close attention to in order to figure out who's responsible. I got it. How it was disposed. We have the ball. How the shirt was disposed of. We should be able to figure out who the killer is. Oh, oh yeah, that's a good point. I, I think I know what you're going to say. You can't reach the incinerator without opening the gate in front of the trash room, right? And obviously, you wouldn't be able to hit the switch to turn it on either. Nope, so you'd have to use something to hit the switch you for you. Get in. And but of the course, the, the impact of that would smash whatever it was. Duty. So nope. the killer had to be whoever was in charge of taking care of the trash, right? <laughs> nope, because then there'd be no reason for the glass. <laughs> Whoever was on cleaning duty must have had it, right? Nope. So the only one who could get to the incinerator was the person in charge of the trash? Nope. And you'd have to get close to the incinerator in order to destroy the evidence. No, it's wrong. Hold on. I think I know how someone could dispose of the evidence without using the trash room key. But if you can't get past the gate, you couldn't possibly turn on the incinerator, could you? Yes, you could. If you used this. What is it? Some kind of glass ball? It's busted to hell. Actually, it was supposed to be a crystal ball, but... Uh... But how would you use it? Okay, let's use glass ball in a certain way, which was for it. I got it! Divine with it. The <laughs> Hello. The Get me there. <laughs> and threw the ball through a gap in the gate. All they had to do was hit that switch, and the incinerator would come to life. Someone threw that through a gap in the gate. Remember what you said before, Hifumi? Huh? Someone turned the incinerator on. Very strange. I'm quite certain it was our last time I was down here. Perhaps it was working at Perry. Fumi Less the, the fairy bit. So the only way the incinerator could have been turned on without his knowledge was because the killer was able to hit the switch without opening the gate. Once they got the incinerator going, all they had to do was ball up the shirt and toss it in. Hey, come on! What the hell is this? All you have to do is look at the scene to know that the killer never actually went inside the trash room. The shards of broken glass, the incinerator left running, the piece yep. of shirt that escaped the fire. If the yep. killer had been on cleaning duty, the evidence would have been taken care of much more thoroughly. Wait, wait, no, just hold on. But the distance from the gate to the incinerator has to be at least 30 feet, right? The pinpoint yep. accuracy you'd need to throw a glass ball that far and hit something You'd have to be a baseball star, wouldn't Could you? Could someone really do that? Yep. that? That's right, there's no way. It'd be impossible. Difficult, absolutely. Impossible? I don't think so. Because the killer is... It wouldn't have to be much of a challenge for the, at all for the killer because... I got it! Because the killer is the ultimate baseball star. Isn't that right, Leon? Do you, do you have any Leon. idea how stupid you sound right now? A target 30 feet away well, when he said Leon, yeah, I'll give you that one. For the ultimate baseball star. You, you, you can't be serious. I... I, I'm not the killer! These goddamn shipper brains have got it all wrong, I'm telling you! You still won't admit it? Okay then. Makoto, go ahead and review the incident one more time to make his Here we crime go. perfectly clear. And with that, this is like the sum of it. Listen to me! What the hell do you mean, end this? Say what you want, Leon. 
but all the questions have been answered, and the truth has been revealed. Now here's what happened. Closing argument is about to begin. Would you like to hear more? Yes. Actually, is it just... Yeah, it's the comic book one. I know exactly how to do this. Left mouse button. So, of course, this is Japanese, so it's left to right. Um... Right. That one goes there. That's her uh, hiding. So that one goes there, probably. That one's used there. What? I guess it's that one again. Oh no. Okay, that's the. Oh! That can be fake ones? I didn't know that. Okay. Right, let's just try and. Okay, so it's that one. Actually, yeah, because she's going to stab in there, and then that. Let's try reenacting. Here's exactly what happened. I think I'd better take one more look back at the case from the beginning. Last night. The killer went to the room Sayaka was in. In other words, my room. From what we can tell, Sayaka invited that person there intending to kill them. She attacked them with the knife she'd taken from the kitchen earlier. But then something happened that she wasn't prepared for. They grabbed the fake sword I put in my room and fought back. During the struggle, a strike from the sword broke Sayaka's right wrist. A 
and that's when she lost her grip on the kitchen knife. Finding herself cornered. Because if you look for that last one, she also was like clutching her wrist. But I didn't know that until now. The killer went after her, but couldn't get the bathroom door open. What they didn't know was that my bathroom door got stuck easily. And there was a trick to opening it. Sayaka knew about that because I told her. But of course, the killer had no way of knowing. So instead, the killer forced the door open, took the kitchen knife, and stabbed Sayaka. But with what strength she had remaining, Sayaka left a dying message. To keep the killer from noticing, she wrote it on the wall behind her. And with that, all her strength was gone. Bye bye, Sayaka. With Sayaka dead, the killer quickly began destroying the evidence. First, they took off their shirt, which was oh. covered in their victim's blood. Oh, no, okay, I was right. Then they took the lint roller in my room and cleaned up the entire area. They wanted to make sure they got rid of any trace they'd ever been there. Afterwards, the killer headed to the trash room to destroy their bloody shirt. They tried to burn the shirt using the incinerator there, but the trash room was blocked off by an especially sturdy gate, preventing access to the incinerator. So they came up with a plan to use Hero's crystal ball, which he'd left in the laundry room. The killer managed to throw the that ball. That kind of looks like a frisbee more than a ball. And hit the incinerator switch. For any normal person, but it's that just meant to be like a power speed, isn't it? But the killer had the confidence to take a shot, and that's because the killer was the ultimate baseball star. The crystal ball with absolute precision, hit the switch on the incinerator, which then quickly roared to life. Having destroyed the final piece of evidence, they left the area with, I imagine, a sigh of relief. But there was one thing they missed. Part of the shirt they thrown into the fire burnt away and fell out of the incinerator. To be honest, you didn't need a shirt bit. Like even if it had all gone in, it would be a crystal ball, and it'd be like, okay, how did the that? The killer get there? didn't notice this, and so left behind a piece of indisputable evidence. Isn't that right, Leon? It would appear that Hero simply forgot his crystal ball in the laundry room. You went there to try and wash the blood out of your shirt. And that's where you saw it, right? Seeing the ball, you thought of a way to take care of everything. So, Leon, do you object to anything that's been said? Do I object? Hell yes, I object! Of course I do! I object, I object, I object! I mean, all of this is just a bunch of stupid theories! You need evidence! Where's the evidence? Without evidence, it's all bullshit! It's bullshit and I refuse to acknowledge it! Well then, I guess this is as good a time as any to present the evidence that proves you did it. all kit, life said you should have presented ages ago. I believe you're in possession of that evidence. I have the evidence. First put a time battle is about to begin. Would you like to hit more? Why not is by Donna controls? Oh, it's the dance one here, of course it is. When the killer broke the bathroom doorknob, they didn't use anything from your room to do it. So what did the killer use? What did the killer use? I refuse to acknowledge you! You're stupid! Stupid, stupid, stupid! Stupid, 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 stupid! Time to dance. Time to kick ass and dance. Where's your proof? You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. You lie. Shut up. You kidding me? Not a chance. You lie. 
through. You kidding me? Not a chance. It wasn't me. Stupid. You lied. Shut up. Here's your proof. You kidding me? Not a chance. You lie. Shut up. Stupid. Where's your proof? This should prove it. Time to die, motherfucker. The screws on the bathroom doorknob were removed. I wonder what kind of tool the killer used to remove that. I mean, it had to be a screwdriver, right? Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure the toolkits we got each had one inside. And that must be what he used. There aren't any other tools anywhere. But the toolkit in... But the toolkit I had in my room had never been used. It clearly never been used. That's because the culprit didn't know it was your room. They thought they were in Sayaka's room. Only the boys got toolkits, so the killer naturally assumed there wouldn't be one in there. Okay, then whose toolkit did the killer use? Stupid, stupid, stupid! It had to be their very own toolkit. Stupid, 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 stupid! Leon, would you mind showing us uh -huh. your toolkit? If I'm right about this, then... Go there. Pretty small. The screwdriver will show some evidence of being used. Stupid, stupid, stupid! <laughs> huh? <laughs> and if you say you used it for something else, you'll have to explain exactly when, where, and why. And let me say this right now. I lost it isn't an excuse at this point. Stupid! <laughs> Stoof! Stoof! Stoo <laughs> Thin. Hello. <laughs> So, you have no rebuttal? Then it would seem we are finished Good here. Good day, monsieur, motherfucker. Oh. There we go. Hey, hey, hey. There's gonna be an F somewhere. No? Oh, wasn't too bad. Everyone got an A. Woo! Better not get my fucking tangle! <laughs> 91 medals, that is nice. <laughs> Looks like you've reached your verdict. Then are we ready to cast our votes? You all have a lever in front of you. Use it to make your selection. Oh, just to remind you all, make triple sure you vote for someone. You wouldn't want to be punished for something so minor, right? Okay, then let's get excited! Woohoo! Come on, Dickhead, boys! Who will be chosen as the Blackened? Will you make the right choice? Or the dreadfully wrong one? What's it gonna be? What's it gonna be? The obvious, ain't it? Leon, you are found guilty! Congratulations. You're dead. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Fuck. Uh oh! Looks like you got it run out of money! Uh oh! Hey kids! Fuck. Like in this case, the one that killed Sayak. Yeah, that's just easier. Fuck it. For today, I'm different that. Oh, it's not that, but the Neil. Leon Kawada! Basically, what that said, yeah. Leon. Leon, did you really kill Sayaka? But I don't believe it. Son, of a, son of a bitch! What the hell is wrong with you? I I didn't have a choice. It, it was kill or be killed. So that's why I killed her first. You are any one wrong step and you'd be the one standing right here. There's a complete chance that I won't that I wound up like this. I was just <laughs> unlucky. That's all. Hey, come on! You expect me just to accept my death? 
Everything became clear. All things become clear. The decision we made was right after all. Look at Taka's eyebrows. <laughs> oh, and if he And everyone else is just, eh, it happened. But when I think about that, honestly, I'd be better off if we'd been wrong. Because if what we came up with really is the truth, then that truth that is that Sayaka was trying to frame me. But even if that's true, I can't say she was wrong. After all, the mastermind. It's all because of that video. Even I couldn't handle what I saw in there. If I was her, the video and the video actually had something to do with me, I can't even imagine. Now we're trapped here with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. I can't afford to be stuck Why? in here. The one thing that was more important to her than anything else. Her dreams. Her friends. To have to see something like that happen to them. And Sayaka. I... I I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I mean it, even some things that weren't so pleasant. Like porn. And that's why Sayaka, for the friends that meant so much to her, that's why she betrayed me. So when she said, No matter what happens, please always be there for me. I need you on my side. <laughs> she was lying to me from the very beginning. She was using me. Is that why she talked to me in the first place? I... I guess I'll never know. Because there's nothing I can do to ask her what she was thinking. Once you're dead? That's that. Yay, fuck you, religion. <laughs> Boy, howdy! <laughs> hey there, Chris! Oh fuck, I really can't do squeaky today. By the way, it's recorded on a different date because memory filled up, etc. Boy, howdy! <laughs> fuck, what is that? I can't even remember what the. Okay, hang on. Um. Boy, howdy! The entertainment industry must sure be terrifying, huh? I mean, to try and kill someone just because of those relationships. She seemed so nice and lovely on the outside, but inside she's descended. She descended into pure madness. What? What did you say? I understand. Really, I do. Yep, yep. Oh fuck. So that is Monokuma's come face. You're in out of despair thanks to Sayaka's betrayal, right? Compassion, intimacy, love. The stronger the f those feelings, the stronger the despair when they collapse. Stop screwing with us, this is all your fault. Sayaka being forced to do something like that. All of it, everything. It's all your fault. Suddenly so a frenzy, I lunged at Monokuma, but... That's enough. As angry as I was, Kyoko latched onto my arm without hesitation. Her grip was like iron, strong enough I was sure it would leave a bruise. If you oh, really yeah. want to make her enemies pay for what they've done, you need to let it go for now. Damn it! Ah, that was a close one! I thought for sure you were gonna give me a good water ping! Oh god, why did you get something by that? Just barely avoided punishment you did! Mm, barely avoided yes, punishment you did! <laughs> now then, since you were so magnificently revealed the identity of the killer during the class trial, the black and Leo Kawada will receive his punishment. Pun punishment? You mean execution? Wait a second! I didn't have a choice! I had to kill her! Yeah, I was it. just protecting myself in the heat of the moment. It was self-defense. 
How exactly uh, is it uh, self defeat? Which I've changed her thing because mm. she's French. When you forced your way into the bathroom, did you or did you not use a very own toolkit? After she'd shut herself in the bathroom, you went out of your way to head back to your own room. Then you came all the way back, broke into the bathroom, and killed her. Am I wrong? You Do had you any understand? number of chances to stop what you were doing, but you chose not to. It is not because you had an unclouded intent to com It is not because you had an unclouded intent to commit murder. No, so no. That's why. Uh, n no, that's not. Stop it. I've had enough of this. Oh, are you sure? You were closer to her than anyone else, were you not? It called your precious Sayaka, do you understand? <laughs> do you understand? I can't say Leon is solely to blame. Of course, I don't plan on blaming Sayaka either. Because... Because the one to blame is him. So what? Uh? If it weren't for you, this would never have happened to Sayaka or Leon. We, w we shouldn't be fighting with each other. We should be fighting against the one who put this in us in the situation. The mastermind. Uh-oh! Did you awaken your sense of justice? Well, hey, just so happens um, there's nothing more unethical than an unwavering sense of justice. After all, it's people with that sort of mentality that perpetrate war all over the world. Is that the kind of justice that's awakened within you? Just shut up. Okay, well, anyway, more importantly, let's hurry up and get to what everyone will be waiting for! The punishment! I'm begging you for mercy, mercy, I don't you believe? No more begging, no more excuses, you must pay the penalty for breaking the rules! To sign. <laughs> What are the rules? <laughs> Society demands it. Stop, please! Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment for Leon Kawada, the ultimate baseball star. No, 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 no! Let's give it everything we've got. Punishment it's time! Punishment time. We go. These brutal fucking deaths. <laughs> Game over. Leon has been found guilty. Time for the punishment. No, you watch how brutal this is. He's having a good old shit. Also, they're all themed around the person's death. So this is baseball, as you'll see in a minute. There we go, baseball is in there. And what's he gonna do? Well, he's gonna fire him. Ba 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 boom. Punishment. Ba 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 boom. Ba ba ba. Finally dead. Oh no, not yet. Yeah, there we go. Jeez. They show his corpse as well, don't they? Oh, no, they don't. Oh, maybe they do. <laughs> Me? Now they're all freaking out. Apart from, apart from, uh, fuck, what's his name? The posh one. Okay, okay, I think. And uh, fuck, I can't. Remember. What we saw, 
In fact, was the true face of despair. I mean, if we can't call it that, well, that's good we called it. Extreme! Man, my adrenaline is pumping you right out of control! Uh, like <laughs> what, 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 what's going on? Uh, I can't take it. Basically. Do we really have to keep doing this? I, I just can't take it. Well, hey, if you don't like it, all you gotta do is swear to cut all ties with the outside world and accept living here forever. But that's only if every single one of you can get on board of that. <laughs> Man, Damn fuck you. you! What the fuck are you doing all this evil shit? Why the fuck are you doing all this evil shit to us? Evil? You make it sound like I'm some dark, awful, secret society type of guy. Or in this case, a dark, awful, secret society type of bear. Um, so, why are you putting an upstanding young kid in my me for such a grudgingly ordeal? Hey, it um, seems like you're trying to use common sense to make sense of something that doesn't make sense. That's like trying to put a mile on a scale. I don't, I just don't think it's possible. Um, uh, hey, I don't think what you're saying saying what I'm saying quite fit together, you know, just like, y y you're getting me wrong, I don't, I don't want to piss you off because obviously you have, you know, weapons of mass destruction, which kind of turned me on, but anyway, Pete, like, fuck off. You piece of shit, I don't know who you are, but I'm gonna pound your ass into the ground. <laughs> you really must hate me to get so angry, huh? But if you do that, you're barking way up the wrong tree. What happened, happened because more than one of you decided you wanted to get out, right? No matter how much time passes, you can't cut free of your regrets from the outside world. You're to blame. Of, of course we can't c c cut her. F free of the outside world, being being trapped in this insane p p place. Hmm, you're trapped, are you? You're trapped, are you? Well, I'm sure once you learn all the mysteries of this school, your thinking will change for sure. You'll think, boy, isn't this so wonderful? How we all managed to get, how we all get to live here forever. What are you? What are you trying to say? Hey. I feel like there's some deeper meaning hidden in there, just like before. Anyway, let's get to the black punishment. That's what everyone is waiting for, after all. Hey. When you say everyone, who exactly you're referring to? Sorry, <laughs> I said everything I've got to say. I need to save some of the fun for later. Please don't make me voice my camera when my voice for some reason isn't being able to do Mickey Mouse. And just like that, he was gone. He left us there overwhelmed by a nightmare turned reality. Even after he was gone, we stood there forever, unable to move. Actually, no. It wasn't that long, I think. Everyone just lost their sense of time. We were all too scared. Scared of being alone. 